Hey, well, it's turkey time. So today, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a smoked turkey. But wait a minute, you say, I don't have a smoker. You got a grill? I think you're gonna be surprised how easy it is to smoke a turkey, and you may have never even thought of doing it this way. So stick around and we'll show you an easy way that anybody can do. So hang tight. Okay, so what we've got here is a little over a 10 pound turkey. Um, that's big enough for this cook. We're not feeding that many people. Um, as you see, I have already spatchcocked him. Um, if you don't know what that is, there are a ton of videos out there that um, you can see exactly how to do this. All it is is removing the backbone and opening it out. It gives you um, reduced cooking time and also the whole bird cooks more evenly. Um, what we're gonna use is I'm gonna inject him. Now I have not done a brine on him. I did let him sit in the refrigerator overnight, wrapped up. Um, it has um, allowed the skin to dry just a little bit and we patted him dry. We're gonna use Tony Sashery's um, Creole butter injection, run it in. And as you see him puff up here, I'm gonna get him in several places. And I like to do on all sides of the bird. If you've never done an injection, it's really a simple process. Um, just go about a bite apart and you want to make sure that you get it in the legs, the thighs, the breasts, basically. Okay, we've turned him over. Oh yeah. I'll get all this real good all the way around. This is something I don't, really don't believe you can overdo. But like I said, I like this flavor in this butter. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is flip them back over. Brother, it looks like we've got a pump full here. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little rub on. Now, a rub I found that I really like is this Plowboys Barbecue Yard Bird Rub. It works really well on chicken and also does good on turkey. This is the second year I've used this on turkey. And we're gonna give him a pretty liberal coating of the rub. Like I said, I, I like this flavor. And then let's turn him over. Bird. And let's get this side. It's going to give it a pretty color and also a pretty taste. Now, let me show you one thing I like to do, especially with the breast. You can take if you just take your finger and just run up under this, you can get your whole hand 
up under. See how I opened it up, pulled the skin up? And do the same thing for the other side over here. The skin's pretty tough. You don't really have to worry about tearing it that much. But one thing I like to do is get my fingers covered up good. And I'm gonna stick it in there and rub it. See how I got it all over that breast. Do it again. I'm gonna cover it up. Also, down here on the thigh, I'm gonna get it down on like that. just a little bit more over the top make sure that we don't miss any spots all right so it's ready to go to the grill i'm gonna let that sit for about i don't know 15 20 minutes or so and let that absorb all that flavor and then we're gonna take him out to the grill. So when we do, we'll bring you back. Okay, as you see, we've got the charcoal divided off. Um, we're gonna do a direct, indirect fire on the little Weber kettle. Um, I've got that sectioned off and I've got maybe a third of a chimney of charcoal that I'm going to put down and get started and once we get it started we'll pour it out on that side over there and we'll bring you back okay we got this little bit of charcoal started and we're going to pour it out over here on this side there we go. And we may spread it just a little bit over here. All right. And let's get her. Down. down. And we're going to let that start. I'm going to put a piece of pecan wood down in here. Like that, and put the grill on. There we go. Let her get in there, and we'll bring you back and put the bird on. Okay, this is sort of a little trick that I got from Dash from Steel Drum Smokers. Um, about everything he cooks, he's got water for moisture in his smoker and a little thing I picked up now that's chicken broth um, instead of using water I'm gonna put that chicken broth in there um, and we may also use that uh, a little later with some side dishes but anyway that helps keep the cook chamber moist Okay, as you see, our charcoal has started catching up. Um, we're getting a little smoke off the wood. I've got another small rack that I've got on top of the grill rack that I'm going to put this turkey on. Um, it just helps when it's time to turn it. And so I'm going to make sure I get good 
centered up and laid up like I want it here because that's pretty much how it's gonna cook. And if you notice, I got the dark meat over here on this side. Um, and let's see, I think I'm just gonna tuck these wings under. All right, uh, we'll come back in a little bit. We'll put a probe in her and see how she does. Okay, we're just about an hour in. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, she's looking good. She's looking good. See what we're gonna do. We're gonna see. We can't turn her around just a little bit here. That was the reason we put it on the... extra grate here so it would make it easy to turn around. Now we're going to point the breast on the fire side. She's looking good. We're going to let her continue to cook and we'll bring you back. Okay. We're two hours in. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, she's getting pretty. All right, here's a little trick that I've learned over the years. I'm gonna take a little spray. This is extra virgin olive oil spray. And I'm gonna spray that skin down. And also, I'm going to take a little aluminum foil and I'm going to wrap them up. Both of these will keep them from getting too dark. And we want them to finish cooking like that. So we're going to cover them up. Put the top back on them. And we'll come back when he's done. Okay, this has been four hours. Temperature turned off cold out here. But there's the finished product. We finally have hit our temperature. We are at 165 in the breast. And 170 in the dark meat. So we're going to take it off. <clears throat> Sorry about the light. It got dark on me too. But here we go. So we're going to take it off. And that's what it looks like. We're going to take it in, let it rest for about, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And then we're going to slice it up. <coughs> Okay, we've let it rest a little bit. Let's take and let's cut a piece off of here and see what we got. Oh my goodness, look at this. Just juice running off of it. The skin is nice and crunchy. All right, we're gonna have to go in and take a bite. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna have to say that's about as good a turkey as I've had. Flavorful. That's a good bite of turkey. Well, there you have it. That's smoking a turkey on a charcoal grill. In this case, we use the Weber kettle. 
the indirect heat method is the way to go. You don't have to have a big smoker. You don't have to have fancy equipment. Just follow this method. It'll work for you too, I promise. The turkey turned out good. Until next time, if you haven't already, how about hit the subscribe button over here and ring that bell. And we'll have another video for you over here. So until next time, hang tight.